Kazarian, this is your bonus read and uh, we are going to bring up the Divine Feminine within you and uh, first I want to say that the energies that I'm reading can go vice versa. Also I want to point out that none of us are perfect, we also do mistakes. I pointed it, pointed it out before and I'll point it out again and again. <laughs> Because seems to some people need to hear it again that, you know, I too have been a very, very bad person. And sometimes I still am. Sometimes I explode. I can't take any more. And furnitures will fly. Right? And, and then I apologize. I own up to it. And I admit that that was the wrong, that was a really bad reaction. Because trying to deny it, trying to project it and, and say that it was your fault that the furniture came come flying, then you're not owning up to the part where you did the wrong. So you not, both need to do own up to the things you do wrong. Now when it comes to people that do me wrong or say hurtful things to me, they first deny it project it upon you that you must be crazy i would never say such a thing are you a lunatic and make you feel like a lunatic because you said some you you confront someone with with things that are not okay this is also known as gaslighting and so there are a lot of people out there in my family among my friends around the periphery, periphery, people who refuse to admit that they sometimes are not just bad people, but horrible. Most of us have a good side and a bad side. We live in a duality and sometimes they are mixed. Sometimes people are just snakes, just snakes. Now we are going to have a look at who you, where you stand right now, Cancerian. And uh, then we are going to go further into the past and into the now and build yourself up to see, to, to perhaps find a reason along with the universe on why you are here, why people treat you like the way they do, women, men, relationships, there are so many people who are always always being treated really like shit. Um, you don't understand why. Why do people have to treat me like that? What kind of signal am I sending out that makes it okay for people to maltreat me? Even the people who talk about themselves as if they are saints. Let's have a look. Give me a nine. Okay. did it like this to well I let's just say I have a system and probably OCD as well <laughs> okay so let's have a look so right now uh, Cancerian it seems to me that you are changing your habitat you are changing something in your life that you're preparing yourself for something and basically i call this card the nesting card this is someone who are they find one partner and they are loyal to this partner for the rest of their life the crowning energy is the tree that uh, talks about good health talks about vitality it gives us oxygen so we can breathe 
but it also drains a little bit it drains a little bit because it's it's like with everything we take and we give we breathe out we breathe in so for me the card is very neutral as long as the card on the side doesn't say anything about this card then for me so far it's it's all right what's crowning you this shows to me that you cancerian you show gratitude a lot and so therefore maybe this is something you have ascended into but you show people gratitude you show people that i'm grateful for the things that you give me i'm grateful for my life i'm grateful for this house, I'm grateful for the money I have in my pocket. I'm grateful for the health of my children, whatever you have in your life. Even I'm grateful for my, because I can breathe, you know, I can breathe without making funny sounds and having pain in my lungs. I'm grateful for that. Every small thing you can find gratitude in, wherever you put your focus for your gratitude, it will evolve. Or multiply. Let's see here. So in the past here, it seems to me that there was some, perhaps some confusion regarding a direction you wanted to take. You weren't sure where to go. There could have been a lover involved in this one. Do you want to go somewhere? But you weren't quite sure should i go north should i go south you will see so it seems to me that your tree your health in 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 this read at least seem okay we are going to put cards on top of this also so here we have authority and this is in your future so you might have to deal with authority in one way or another or some kind of power structure. In the past here, it seems to me that there was a lot of wealth uh, and uh, they usually say that when, when the scythe is beside it, it determines how you use this wealth by chopping it up, so it can create more wealth or uh, sell it out as whole pieces it's, you know uh, as so many structures where you capture this fish and sell this fish i don't need anyone to say tell me that you need to fish and capture it to become wealthy the fish alone is a symbol for wealth because it's swimming in water and water alone is a symbol for wealth it's very known in chinese uh, philosophy and feng shui so it's also in many ways an allegory as it is plucking it up and picking it apart okay unless of course it's Helen Gerke who does it so here we are talking about the future again. It seemed to me that uh, you are getting out a little bit and uh, perhaps it's so that <clears throat> certain things are a little bit unclear to you. So you are involving yourself with, with other people. You get out more in order to get clarification and things. Maybe you sit if you're sitting in too much and isolating yourself, you might get a little bit distracted by that. Um, this card here shows that you are possessed with a lot of grace. Uh, you have this inner beauty and elegance to you. You also are connected to the pineal gland and i see someone here who have a very sophisticated power to see things beyond the veil now in the future it seems to me that you try to find 
the, the source of confusion here, but for some reason it might increase. And it might be that this power structure here have put you into a task where you feel I feel forced to do this. Could be the, the government or whatever are forcing you to do something that maybe you don't feel that I'm not built to do this and therefore it can create a certain someone just oh. why do why do they do this sabotage my stuff <laughs> so it will be a little bit dark you might expect that you know there will be a little bit cloudy in your mind but clouds usually they don't last long but there will be a small pressure here that will be put between from from the power structure down to your mind and in a place where you can they, you, you, you can risk that if you talk too much about this, I would perhaps be a little bit silent about it, that if you go here and talk too much about it, you might end up with the bird box that a lot of scrambling, gossiping, rambling might happen for you instead of getting really a good reason for or, or a solution to the problem that you are facing, even though you are dealing with a very big power structure. Now let's see. These are basically now the significators. All of them, I just, and I just say that all of them are now significators. And this will be the amplifier or the addition. Give me a nine. So, someone wants to nest, but there is an issue here. Wherever you are now, there are vermin, there are mice, there are someone or some creature who are basically creating a lot of issues for your well-being where you live. Eating you, it could be people who are taking advantage of you. And you have trouble saying no or it could be really really real rats that are attacking your apples and cheese and uh, even the the woodwork in your house now this was a bigger problem in the you know very long time ago however where i am now uh, just one area from here where i come from it's called nearly uh turns out they have a really really large rat problem so mice problem in india also i was recently fighting two guys who tried to smack it brutally and I, all i saw was this cute little thing running around being super scared so i tried to <laughs> you know just chase him away it's enough you don't have to smash him so this is me. I love all living things except, well, I love spiders too, but don't, don't touch me. <laughs> so in this situation, it seems to me you have unlocked a big problem. It's like something comes to you out of the blue. Many of the issues that you felt you had to face, here you have to face two paths. You need to choose between two, to the left or to the right. Shall I go to the university or should I travel the world one year? Shall I take the job where I serve burgers or should I take the job where I work in as a bartender? Two choices.
So regarding compass, where to go, it seems to me that one of the reasons you want to go is due to cruelty in the past and it's still in your head. You're saying things to yourself in your head that's that ain't cool. And there is this part of you that you might want to work in the power department where people have power so you can fix things of greater nature. And so maybe a part of you wants to work in a manner that you slowly can climb your way up to, to that level where people are making the big decisions. Now, wherever you find fish, there is water. And wherever there is water, there is often love, swamps. So there might be love is in the air for you on that water. You might meet perhaps a fisherman, he's out creating some fish or fixing some fish. And there he is and there is love at first sight. This however is in the past. It's in the past. I really want to tell you that this is going to happen with the loves in the past. You might already have this love in your life. So, I see you taking a quite strategic move here instead of taking this, which has been ordered, like, or it's almost program that you have to take one of these roads well my past is dead i quit the past and regarding the mice where the mice are there is also slander right where i am trying to nest there there's slander there are mice Time is running out. This is coming to an end. I'm moving from here to this direction. Finding luck. Wherever the, the dark cloud can be as dark as they want, I'm moving over to a place where I can find my own luck. And perhaps that needs to be a place of power because your entire life you have been someone that people are co constantly challenging. Uh, you're struggling with setting limits and then you're almost going crazy. Like, can you just listen to what I'm fucking telling you, you know? And they look at you and they slam their filthy feet on your on your table and rib your, you know, it could be some friends of your children, it could be some friends of your husband slash wife, whatever. But here it seems to me that you are finding one way out, a bridge between one place to another. And that could be this place where you will find your anchor and you already have unlocked the key to many, many things that that have not been too good to you. Now, I want to have a, a small look or peek at this um, love of yours. If this is someone who is still there, if they, if there is still love there, um, um, I will assume. But um, we will see, we will see. Keep it, keep it in. So we will find out if you pop up there, there could be two women popping up. Be prepared for that. 
So this individual is attached to deception. This individual comes out as someone very generous, I, you know, I graceful. I'm making sure that, you know, they come out as very balanced. This is, I don't know why I'm thinking a lot of Libra when I see this card. This is really a king of swords. So it must be a very poison, huh? But there is a lot of grace attached to this love. There is also a lot of deception attached to this love. Somehow in the past, this love ended. Someone moved on and made a small fortune. One of you seem to be very grateful in your nature and because of this grateful nature whatever you have of abundance multiplies itself just out of the blue however this card has to go through deception so here we are again moving on to the place where you have to choose between two wings left or to the right in the past there was this love that was attached to a lot of a dark mind a gloomy mind and somehow i i see that it ended with independence somehow and from that maybe they almost died literally and so here the flowers come and they are now grateful just to be alive. Could be you. And here is someone are traveling also towards their luck. So now it seems to me the love, the the, the needle is spinning a little, spinning a little bit. Not quite sure what direction to take, but there is deception and cruelty attached to that now the tree on top of the lily makes a beautiful couple they can also it can also be that the tree will create shadows for the lily and so they will die if they stand too close to the tree the tree needs a lot of nourishment Somehow, it seems to me, your individual unlocked also a hidden secret. And here they are as well, lusting for power, but in a different manner. They're lusting, lusting for the power in a manner where they can dominate others, not help others, but dominate others. Wherever they were in the past, they try to put their roots there. They thrived where they used to be. And now it seems to me that maybe they are moving. Yes, it seems to me that they too want to have a new beginning and go somewhere else. Wherever they was, wherever they died, it seems to me that the after effects fill them with vermin and parasites and everything you don't want in your life. Many, many things had to be taken care of after they put a stop to something that happened in their life. Uh, so what is attached to this uh, fortune here that the small, yeah, it's a fortune, it's a good fortune that they will get in their future are a lot of jealous people who will 
try to probably get a piece of that. Uh, I don't see a lot of negativity in your person except deception. And very negative, critical way of behavior. And when I see this disease, I see that there are a lot of the disease that there is something, it didn't just disappear when he died. He nearly died perhaps, or she, but there is something still in the body. If, if she or he had cancer, they, they survived, but the, the, the leftovers are still there, creating a small party on his or her, her behalf. Yet they managed to get rid of it, but they are still going back to the old ways of being the king on king on the road yeah that's how the song goes so let's jump over to the card read and see cancer what is going on why is it so that some people feel that it is okay to mistreat you so we're going to pick out one individual and you will feel free to choose who this individual are who this individual is okay and um, yeah you're not Scorpio so I'll, I'll stick to something more light so you think about this individual, hitchhiker. You could have met this individual on a journey. Okay, so show me the energies of the individual. There is perhaps one specific, you wonder why? Where are they that cruel or Someone could have sent you mixed signals, uh, breadcrumbed you, make you think that, oh, there is something here for me, going on for me, blah, blah, blah. And in the end, <laughs> you are not the poster girl. You are not like this. You're not like that. I'm looking for something better. Uh, men in general like to chase. I don't know about you girls. I don't like to chase. I haven't been a chaser, I admit it. But let's say it's, it's a few years now I stopped chasing. <laughs> when I find out, oh God, it's that bad here. So let's have a look at your individual. And um, how they treated you and why, basically. We have my new tarot here that goes really deep okay so they come out with uh, eight of snakes so when they bring you news when they want to talk to you how does a snake sound like when they talk and when there's eight of them how does eight snakes sound like when they talk it seems to me that right now they actually want to reach out why does it sound like i have a cat and a ghost cat here eating food i do not possess cat food anyway Maybe there is mice here. Okay. 
Okay. Give me a little bit more, please. Show me great universe. Show me more of this individual. They're coming out as someone who are victimizing themselves a lot with the nine of wands in reverse. I am a victim. They were so sorry for me. So I have the right to suck you dry, basically, whatever. However, they took advantage of you or had fun with leaving you behind. Seems to me they were broke. Some of them are broke, some of them don't have any opportunities, they are too desperate and it, it shows too much that this one ain't gonna get it. There is no offering here for them regarding money or, or a new job. So right now, they might be in some kind of a battle with someone regarding a case. Regarding a situation. And so they are trying to remove themselves. They're trying to remove themselves from one destination to another to calm their mind. Uh, usually we say moving the mind, you know, to a more calm place. But in order to do that, it's much easier if you move your entire body and mind to a place which is calm. It seems to me that the strength is there, but they don't have a full on belief in, in, in themselves. So they come out as very weak, I shall be honest with you, and they come out as very weak. People will treat them as weak. They tried to leave a situation that was emotionally draining for them. They felt left out in the cold. Someone was having a party without them. They weren't invited. And uh, whatever they had left of money, well, they're no longer there. Whoever they are, it seems to me that this connection of yours is keeping a small eye what you are up to cancerians put it like that you can see share with you the ups and downs they are having nightmares They're having nightmares. They're starting to get clarity into the situation in the country where everyone are blind. The one-eyed man is king, says this card.
In the recent past, your individual might have, uh, I'm not saying it's your individual, it's someone who it caused some kind of trauma in you or, or made you feel small for some reason. It's like they themselves were treated like shit and then they take it out on you. It's what I feel. So... It seems to me they had managed to grow up a few coins on their own in the recent past. And they managed to grow up even more money in the recent past. But then it's coming out in the first that somehow they lost those coins. And the celebration they had prepared for, well, no longer there, is it? No longer there. Possible outcome. Well, there is no charity for this guy. There is no one who feels sorry for him. No, not, not even mom or dad feels sorry for this guy. He's been, I don't know, maybe been too much in this and or too much in the I am the victim, blah, blah, blah. And, blah, you know, and we're all victims, you know. Um, <laughs> so... He might have been someone, oh, can you just loan me a little bit more, a little bit more, I just need a little bit more. No, yeah, sorry, you can't, darling. They always disappear and you must mess it up again. Some people self-sabotage a lot and people who are ending up in their nest, well, they also get sabotaged. So here we have the queen of snakes. She's also the queen of wands. She's coming out in reverse. So either this individual is someone who are just a plain bitch, or they attracted one. Simple and easy. Talking with a split tongue. And again, and again, they are losing money. <laughs> the king of coins, daddy here, big daddy, is just looking at him and, and shakes his head. Fuck, you know. Is there any hope? And same with the Ace of Wands here. Nothing. Nothing. And you got mixed in this. Thinking maybe it was personal. Maybe it was personal. But... Let's see. I'm not sure I would give too much thought to it. So in their surroundings, there is someone there who have taken small interest in them and wants to give them a little bit passion, perhaps join them on their journey. That was a lot of twisters. No. He or she is now in a position of the hanged man. It's like the universe is saying to me, you know, if you haven't learned yet, you're going to hang a bear, yoga style full on, until your head starts glowing, your crown chakra daddy. Crown chakra, ba 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 boo. Their hopes and fears. 
hopes and fears. Hmm. They are very deluded. Deluded as in really deluded. They 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 have a lot of options. There are a lot of things to choose between. At the same time, it's like their head is a little foggy, like they're smoking too much weed or eating too much stuff that makes them just foggy. Yet, there's a small fan here who don't care. Show me their strength. Their strength is, well, they are very seductive, that's for sure. Obviously attractive, seductive, but they're not good with speech, are they? They are very silent, they don't say a lot, and when they talk, they talk like a snake. That is a strength. Now let's see at a possible outcome. A new beginning shall come for them as well, eventually. Someone might come in, maybe if they will come to you with an apology. Some reason, I doubt it, because they come out as very... All the pain in the world is directed onto me and you guys you should show more pity there is justice here so whatever has been wronged you then karma is here to take care of that there are what they do not see coming there are a lot of tears Okay, so let's pack this one up together and let's see what happened when they realized that you are no longer going to be a part of their life. Because at some point, considering you did not accept that, you know, this is the same cool to treat people like this. So you left, what well, I assume, if you're still there, then let's talk. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm going to show these are so, my hands are baby, so. First, we're going to take a look at their general emotions towards you. And you, of course, your emotions towards them. That is what exactly the word I was looking for. So right now, they are have no intention of committing to you, Cancerium. There's no way I'm going to commit to anyone, anything. Could be that I don't have the resources, so even if I wanted to. But I do want to clear certain things up here. There's been a few misunderstandings and I want to clear them up. When it comes to emotions, they seem more worried about the money they lose than having emotions at all. You could ask yourself, do this individual have, possess any emotions? 
give me another card for that one seems like they do if you dig a little deeper they have the queen of cups but you have to dig sometimes a little bit below the surface to find out so very often i put I've started to put this read now. We can check the sun as well uh, regarding their clarity and see what is it that I want to clear up. There's something here about work. They could live in a country where work is so important they don't have time for their loved ones. Jesus. So behind that I do not want no commitment is because they still want to party. And well, the devil supports them in this. This is not someone who who likes to necessarily stay inside and, and hide. And uh, the couch they love going out but when it comes to karma and manifests things because of their priorities they really really suck at it reversed Rueda di Fortuna and the magician so that's just I don't know, I don't know. the devil here and these people having a big party while his life is going straight to hell while he's hurting other people. This individual is very little impressive to me. How does this how does he see my cancerians? How does he see my cancerians? Have to remember this is the divine feminine. So if you are a man and feel divine feminine, welcome to the club. How does he see the Divine Feminine? How does he think about her? Yes, my second set. They might see you as a, someone quite wild, risk taker, something very magical, a magical creature who is run, who is on the, you know, is running loose. They also see that you are actually worth waiting for, and that you have a lot of power. Queen of Swords, that you know, you can smack them in their face if they go too far and so i i feel that you know they could be slightly intimidated by you they also see that you are doing okay regarding your finances you don't self-sabotage so there could be an age difference here And it comes to their love for you. There is a part of them that they seem to, it's like they want to run fast towards you so they don't lose the complete connection. Uh, somehow they make, they make, you make them shine. You make them shine. Uh, so they, they want to resurrect what you guys had because they realized there was a, a missed opportunity and they are now in a so-called meditation mode where they're actually lying there and scratching their head and thinking ah how can i get that catch back they are in a crossroad now and the snake is very close to them they are, we have two, two here, equals a four, equals someone who wants to create stability. But it seems to me they have to make a choice, they have to make a choice, because they really are broke. Talking about earth, broke earth signs. Yes, they really are broke, and but 
you see here, so Scorpio power here, they have a very strong connection to you. And when they lost you, the tower fell. No need to see, no need to say that there were tears there. The emotions they have are as of a Scorpio, extremely strong. Let's see. And somehow they feel betrayed by you. I feel that they sometimes can come out as a little bit smug, but in the end, it is the daddy that's got the coins, not them. And it is you who's got the power to slash them down into pieces if they treat you as they have been treating you before. The moon is right here, hiding one truth, and that is that their world is quite foggy, where you are independent. Nine of Cups. So, this is what happens to people who take the Divine Feminine for granted. Maybe you give too much. Maybe there is too much love. I, I, I didn't think that too much love was possible. Uh, many of us aquatic signs, we have this idea that why is this so hard? Why is this so difficult? But some people, they like to measure love with, a, with some kind of ruler or whatever, right? And in the end, that, that's, the universe is built upon love. That is the very fundament of the universe. As long as you don't get that, you will have tower moments. You will choose between one Burman and the other. Basically. So where you are now, Cancerians, um, I will show you what kind of connection it is that is behind you on a much higher plane. Take it as you wish. You don't have to say that, oh, you know, I'm going to space out a little bit, Cancerians, and find who they truly are and what the mission is to awaken something in you. Because when, when we are being put through this kind of hell, you can see it as being in the military and you have to run that run that tunnel and climb that rope and this many push-ups in order to prepare yourself for something, right? And this is also how it's like being on Earth. However, there is another part of you that are that is beyond you, which is called the watch of the observer where you are just the ego mind thinking that you're stuck here. So we are going to take a look at his observer, his watcher, the, the one that is truly him. And same as for you and the connection in the between of you. Okay. So let's see. So this is not something that is written in stone. You take it as you feel it resonates. Yeah. Uh, because of your heart chakra, Cancerians, they are close to you now in this chapter of your life. To get you to get data, to get intel, to get the chance to because 
As soon as you've been together, you will keep on sending each other energy. And they need to learn more about compassion and that the fact that what they do is destroying other people, hurting other people. And instead of uh, saying, you know, I'm so sorry for that. Or I'm really, you know, I really feel terrible for doing such a thing. They are blaming everyone else, which is a typical, very, very narcissistic trait. A word I'm really bored of, but yeah, people get that word today. You are an eternal explorer. You explore the world from the inside. And so your world is magical, it's beautiful. And you don't see the external word, world as the real world. You see it as the samsara. I'm going to give you another one. You also have a lot of fire. But it's not necessarily the fire that makes, gives you hyperactivity. It is that fire that makes you want to go inside, explore your own creativity and create something that is greater than, than you can even imagine, but you will, right? So no matter how terrible your individual might seem, you have to remember it is their ego, okay? It's their ego that is, we can put in this dualistic category. But I get that some of them might belong to indigo children. Those who are born after 87 have a special link to the indigos. And those who are up, upper close uh, on the 2004, five something also got crystallized energy. After 2012, all children are born with crystallized auric field. I get that, well, I see here that they have the air, they are full of ideas all the time and they are all about logic and reason but they are also part of the paradigm shift so whatever he is doing here he is here to discover something very unique about himself and you are a part of that by sacrificing yourself in soul contract and you you will suffer so much because you see them you know, go everywhere else without you, do anything else without you, and yet you are good enough when, when they are in need of something, right? And so I see breadcrumbing here. I see deception. We have seen so many things through this read, but I want you to remember, especially these cards, that these are the contracts. Here you have air, here you have fire, and here you have those who are here to remind you that the true world, the true passage, the rite of passage, is where you need to go inside. You need to go inside. It's not what's happening outside of you that is important. It is inside. The outside is merely a reflection. So, so next time you think about them and you think about them with, with grudge, try to remember that this is the reason you met. You had your reason. And you come out as far more spiritual than they are. 
which is another reason an insect to the flame but at some point maybe not today maybe not next year but at some point in their life the seed you have been putting in them will start to grow and they will start remembering who they truly are this is very important for you to understand Okay, Cancerians, I love you so much. I hope this read gave you something. Gave you something. And that you will have any use for it. And I want to thank all of those of you for liking and subscribing to my channel. And you are so much welcome back to this side of the world. I love you so much.